We are funding artists. We are developing professionals. We are funding who is legible with projects well-defined. Submit telephone day, telephone night, social security number. Describe career goals. Provide explanation. Explain project, project income, project expenses. List outside fees, artistic, other. Space rental facility needs, marketing, capital expenses. Include resume, references, supporting materials. Check applicant race, American Indian, Alaskan Native, Asian Pacific Islander, Black, not Hispanic, Hispanic, White, not Hispanic, multiracial, sex. Checklist, check guideline, check social security number, check deadline, deadline. Application. Guidelines and deadlines for the mechanical artist. Tuesday. Tuesday was the deadline to have the damn house painted or the head man, the big cheese, would raise the rafters, blow a gasket. So I prepared extra coffee, made specially strong, grokked the deadline all day, paintbrush in hand, dipping, extending, painting, dipping, extending, painting, alone in my thoughts, thinking about the letter I'd sent, requesting, artist fun application, money without dipping, extending, painting. So you may imagine my imagination when I arrived home, and there it was. All four pages of it, and this is it, reduced to a poem. Don't cross the street. Don't leave the yard. Don't get dirty. Don't talk to the Robinsons. Don't get wet. Don't leave the water running. Don't climb the trees. Don't play with matches. Don't play with yourself. Don't play with mud. Don't break your glasses. Don't put your cookies in your back pocket. Don't put bubble gum in your front pocket. Don't scuff your shoes. Don't forget your hanky. Don't forget your manners. Don't walk on the flowers. Don't pick the flowers. Don't even go near the flowers. Don't tear up the grass. Don't buy a popsicle. Don't let it run down your shirt. Don't play with the paint. Don't even go to the garage. Don't eat anything before dinner. Don't forget to be in by seven. Don't bring any earthworms, lizards, frogs, broken birds' eggs, or bad grammar back. Don't play with other children. And, and don't, don't play, play with, with anyone, anyone else, else who does. does. But have a good time. By T.B. Ward. This poem is dedicated to all the defunct reviews. They made a difference. Caterpillar Memories Caterpillar Memories in the short light of autumn. Phoenix Cables. Titanic Ghosts. New Directions Drown in Sight of the Cost. Evergreen Forests Under the Moss. They Brought Forth Pictures. Painted with words. For next to nothing. They dreamed. Typewriter racing. Paragraph feathers. Eulogize the end of renaissance in English letters. Pete under the bridge to be harvested someday. It wasn't like the sun going down too far. Or the tide refusing to rise. Even so. Even if they had all died on the same day, there would only be candles lit. Cocktail chatter about clods being washed out to sea. It wasn't like the sun going down too far. Or the tide refusing to rise. It was like the World Trade Center falling in a forest. If no one heard it, would there be a sound? Or the first attempt at flight. Fat, plump birds falling, falling without, without failing. failing. Christmas poem number two. Happy Christ Day! May we all dig one really blown image from that crazy heads-up Nazarene. Crossword Poem Again, Again the, the gentle, gentle breeze, breeze Spanish uninhibited, moss, meandering uninhibited by, waterways, bears hope meandering, again for spring. undisturbed so by sound, give balance bear and fulfill learn, hopes, and nature again quietly, chooses for life's forest, spring spring deep So woods, give, be, be careful, see, watch, exercise, know, expand, and you balance, will be what see comes winter. after. 
Meditate Careful. often. Winter. And watch slowly, slowly grows. Breathe watch within. silently. Learn. The ocean setting know. sun. Grow. Rivers laughter. Deep meaning. Hope. And observe. Maybe. Finds an answer. Quietly, silently, the winter's ocean setting sun. Undisturbed, forests, rivers, fulfill nature, springs, deep woods, eternal. And hope exercise, you meditate, will breathe deep, answer, expand what often within meaning. Current menu. Deluge. Dance, you farmers. Snuggle in fresh linen, you city lovers. Give me a tin roof in the mountains. Earth, I see you drinking past your limit, you happy, gluttonous turkey. Drink. I will carry you home. Friendship is mental institution. Loved all the good times, comma, Bob. I worked and he played until the punch card boss laid me out, leaving me like Lita, bleeding between the legs and ears, demanding me to take it on the chin, rent, Food, gas, beer, cigarettes, five knuckles on a heavy hand. We were front wave, foot loose, coal mine canaries, peddling the back streets to avoid oblivion, equating high term, low yield cool with no stress, Malta B complex vitamins, or an ounce of lumbo in the back pocket on a semi serious racing Grand Prix, stopping in green parks to piss or shit or smoke a J or contemplate a navel, and in contemplation diddled mentally the tight-titted, broad-ass junior weight nymphs that walked by in painted blue jeans, only to be carried off after talking incoherently, obscenely, staggering unshaven, caught by the sirens of the manicured zoo. The best tire tubes of our lives were pitted and glared neurotically at the potholes, stretching themselves one more time through glass-shotted streets looking for clean asphalt. In the flowering spring, we strode off valiantly, he tilting his cool ray glasses, black and white hair, following raven-haired university chicks with jewels in their navels. I watched old ladies zip by in cars and trucks, looking for balls while Xerox side streets of acid aurora borealis bounced off every sewer tap that ran across the street. We were sweetened by copulating angels on group bike rides to state parks of quivering buttocks under nylon tents, suffering from dawn till noon, screwing the sunrise red-eyed in the rhythmic tidal pool. I woke up in the afternoon to the smell of Vienna sausages and vomited amphetamine and sanity in the eyes of the shredded meat house earth after waiting curiously for years for pre-promised, pre-packaged artificial meats only to find artificial pig eyebrows and assholes in tight can after can of Alcoa-wrapped waste. We gave up prepared dishes and talking, pointed in health food stores. We lived in transit, eating out, rode the town and the alleys, goofing on the sidewalks and the shortcuts, looking for all-day piecemeal stories, listening to the bartender telling gravity jokes as we slipped the noose over his neck and eyed the trap door, watching in pure stoned amazement as the sociologist from the Universities of Boston discovered 1780 formaldehyde Charleston. 
went peddling to the Blue Jack to hear the Barkers selling women and whiskey on a Wednesday night, on a Friday night, yelling, We got reds, blondes, and brunettes, tall girls and small girls, girls thin and girls stout, girls with curls and girls without, damsels so mellow and bitches that bellow, and if you're too old to stick it in, they'll stand on their hands and you can walk up and drop it in. Watching common friends uncounted that woke and worked and wrecked on their miserableness because harmony was a lighthouse too far. Heads that gave up junk and kept on smoking. Gave up speed and kept on smoking. Read only books about the green and gentle earth and died of cancer. Friends committed to the weekend spice of life, ran down the motel corridors of their left brain minds until they came to the littlest sign that said, in case of emergency, break. And there they stood, catatonic, until they were carried off and fed every down in the world until they slept forever. Or the one that had his car stolen, this actually happened, then received a call telling him where he could find it and as he went out into the night to retrieve his nowhere wheels, they robbed his house. He sat on the couch with a crutch and a cast, while I sat at the table writing haikus for every bike that had to swerve off the road because some asshole passed you and then took a right-hand turn in front of you, slamming you into the tire-grabbing sand, ricocheting you over car tops, over car hoods, into the hospital of Rod Serling Smug. I told you so, Miss. He wept in euphorisms, drinking six-fifths of imagination as the insurance company handed him a blank check because the bone had to be reset while everyone was talking about Doonesbury. We wandered around for 20 days and 20 nights, eating Thorazine standing up, positive that nothing was wrong, nowhere, no how, reading everything Clavel ever wrote, eating words like garbanzo beans, pork and beans, in the stark contrast of the early morning armchair. Then, in the yellow full moon of a summer high tide, he chipped off 85% of his cast in anticipation, went out and hobbled through ten erratic gears singing swish and humming fresh lubricant. We reappeared in the morning in cutoffs and full regalia, two dollars and change, spent the weeks making love to wet concrete till the new moon in a harbor town with the steam rising and the fog layered like pancakes rode silent motion on into State Street on the impulse of early morning Galactica. I became the tow truck for broken down bikes after telling my friends to call any time and they called at all hours of the nicotine night. My wheel came off on Lockwood and I'm calling from... My seat fell off at Broad and I'm calling from... Or... Wow, I'm glad you're home. I've called everyone I know, and no one's home at... At four fucking fourteen in the morning, stuck, red light August. Ah, oh, Larry, the world is so absurd. You used to know that, and that knowledge was the common bond. But knowledge is only an artificial happiness and worry. I finished my education playing records in a bar for beer, and wound up running again with the dog-eat-dog -dog whorehouse and mafia card games, rented a beach house for the winter with no heat, to listen to the storm waves beneath the groaning blankets, groping semen blast of the colossal steam whistle. He continued capturing white-water angels, tilting his cool ray vision, and carrying them off under the late night ricocheting wine jazz beat and gave them morsels for their slobbering souls, scrambled his brain in misfit anticipation of locomotive understandings, crawled up his cerebellum wearing only a coal miner's hat, and was never seen again within ten kilometers of his own id. 
I turn my head, pack my sack with spare tire tubes, notebooks, and disappear down the road, laughing for no reason.